Good morning, we're now recording. Uh, I am recording here from Northern Clear Lake, California. Beautiful, beautiful Clear Lake. Uh, blue, healthy, surrounded by gorgeous, gorgeous uh, landscape, but simultaneously occurring with some of the poorest with addiction patterns, marginalized people living in severe poverty, thus attracting businesses, associations, and community uh, to assist that. But all of it is part of a vibrational mix that is plaguing humankind as patches of dissonance all around the world of those, for many reasons, gener intergenerational poverty, racism, um, territorialism by people who have set the bar for how to be to deserve just even a decent house over your head. What is occurring in this area? is not isolated because California is a very, very rich progressive state. So the fact that things can coexist just within a few miles and then imagining the immigrants housed in cyclone cages with standing room only just a day's drive from here. Our political climate with careless, selfish, rogue, steamrolling behavior over human values and humane treatment of people. We are in a dire mirror of truth. We are at a point of complete cannot deny how we have operated on our leadership levels to treat many humans for many reasons that I've cited, I could go on and on, worse than most people treat their pets. The divinity of each person that is choosing to be born is still intact, but the horrendous environment that even allows such massive overpopulation and not supporting of a consciousness that would bring in souls who would have resources in abundance and sharing has gotten to a point of collapse. So if you are worried that things are looking horrific, you are, you're absolutely right, and you're right to be alarmed, and you're right for your heart to say, now what? This is a time in history where we are sophisticated enough in our intelligence to have access and seen the way that we can resource and regenerate a higher vibrational plane of people, people processes, processes and technologies that we can bring them, them, them to, to catalyze things from a living on earth. You're standing in the middle. You're standing and you're looking at the old paradigm and it's becoming more diseased. And that's what's alarming. Is this disease going to take over everything? That's why, honestly, and tell you to be consciously aware that you are only resourcing that for what? For what you can learn. You know, we might have a little bit of an unstable connection here. I am at the uh, Rancheria Casino here up in Clear Lake. And if it becomes unstable, just take a breath and wait till I come back and clear again, okay? 
just imagine what I'm saying. Thank you for that little chat note. So we don't actually face and breathe the air of the old paradigm, which is full of fear and disease and destabilizing vibrational thoughts. To even put your attention towards this fear-based reality, it can envelope you. And if you still have triggers of fear within your body, you'll be in a fumigating little cyclone and swept up as you merge with it. And if you're listening to this, you're a sensitive person. You're an empath. So imagine you're standing in between the old paradigm and the new paradigm. And that's a circle, and this is a circle. And the circles cross each other, and you are standing in the crossroads, the Vesica Pisces. But you are not in the new future yet. We talk about it. But you can't see it, so you can't really experience it or know it. We'll talk about that in a minute, how to make it come in through divine guidance. But you cannot merge with or be a part of the old mass consciousness that needs severe fumigation. Does that make sense? It is full of locusts, selfish, belligerent people, power over. The new paradigm is power with. So you are to only uh, have any relationship with old paradigm people, ideas, or structures for information. Oh, I see where that thought leads in that environment. I see where that choice led me. I see where doing that led people down that path and that road. It is your historical book. You know how we learn in school, this happened and this happened, so we don't repeat history. You are a change agent, so you are not to live in that milieu. You are to only reference it and to bring forth the skills that you have learned. All those years that you had to learn to stay grounded, that you had to discern what was truth, who was nice and who seemed nice, but they weren't good. You learned a lot. You learned how to speak on stage or you learned how to cook to support yourself in a healthy way. All of it's not lost. You were trained to be a spiritual warrior. So when I say don't reference the past, I say, I'm saying take everything good. The fact that I worked as a bakery as a child makes me understand and appreciate baked goods to talk to other people who run bakeries. In other words, it makes you a full-fleshed, more experienced, with a greater toolkit, spiritual warrior here, residing in the interim, but facing the future, facing the future. Now, people say, but how am I going to earn money? What am I going to do? Who am I? Well, you're not referencing your old personality, the old bank statements, the old ways. This is where it requires an immense amount of trust. And how much money you have in the bank is not exactly something you're absolutely in charge of, unless you want to jump in and play the beat them out game back in the old paradigm, which you will shrink. Your soul will shrink. If you are meant to have lots of physical abundance and resources and richness following spirit, it will be so. And you can ask for it. And if it is willed for your highest good, for your path, for interacting in the world in an empowered way, but if you are meant absolutely to learn to do better and more on less you cannot fight that either you contracted with that so all of this uh business of uh, a law of attraction all these different things somewhat 
one that you use them to say when you ask for abundance and money if you don't get it you failed no there is a path for each of us and the amount of abundance is perceptual first of all depending on relevancy of where and who you are where i'm at right now is equivalent sometimes to a third world country until you drive a couple blocks so it's all relevant so we must let go of the brittle perceptions of not just who we are but what we need to keep ourselves safe and and to be facing and moving towards the new paradigm we cannot move towards an unknown structure with old limiting boxes around our head of what our checkbook our living situation anything so those are all the ways that we can trip ourselves up but you're on this meditation to learn the easy way to how to be the light to move through your life with grace and ease especially during residing in this transition period so i'm giving you some hints again don't look back take the toolkit bless them do not focus on the negative don't even watch the news just read a little summary at the end of the day what happened today okay you won't be left out you'll know and face towards people who have a high vibration people who are living their passion people who are helping move the transitioning earth in a positive direction but even more important than that is while you are residing in this interim vesica pisces is what bring in your own purest highest vibration to burn off any resistance reluctance to be the full light that you are be the full knowing be the full embodiment of the highest vibrational profile so that you are accessing your own christ of consciousness which means that you have dominion over time and space it means you know what you know it means your voice promotes out into the world the highest good and the highest truth for all no matter you're not thinking about how your words are going to fall those with ears to hear and eyes to see will get it and soak up that vibration and help the world move where towards the new paradigm the minute you're worried well, what i think will it be okay you are facing the old paradigm of outwardly referencing when you are in your vesica pisces your highest goal everything about you is to be the light by opening your crown chakra and receiving guidance people say i don't know what to do i don't know what to think i had a i had a teacher one time he said he said you don't get to do what you want to do that's based on the personality in your past you are to do what you're told to do and i said oh no, are you kidding but now i get it it's what my higher self is inviting me to do it's the highest path related to my just letting my christed consciousness come in and then when i look in the mirror i smile because i see all that is i see good i see a vibration that i am happy with i don't want, i almost said proud but i would say proud that i got out of my own way long enough to feel the gracious presence of all that is and how i can express that through me and eventually guess what in this vesica pisces i can soften i can soften the side towards the new paradigm and turn towards it and step into it and be it all the time and you know when you do that when you've mitigated 
all the fears, all the resistance, all the reluctance, you can go into what Jill Lundlin told me, rejuvenation, regeneration, and restoration. I'll never forget. She's a great, <laughs> she's a great coach. <laughs> the R words, reluctance, resistance, and <laughs> rejuvenation, regeneration, and restoration. For the world, for you, for your soul, for your mind, for your body. All right, so let's do it. Take a breath through your nose and out through your mouth. We ask and intend to set a sacred space. We place a beautiful hold on a balance over our entire body. Only energies of the highest light may be in this space now. Call in our spirit guides to surround us. We ask and intend this Vesica Pisces we reside in as transformational agents for the new paradigm that we can melt the wall, the perceived wall between us and the new paradigm. We are choosing to not tap into the old paradigm. We know it's there. But we are turning towards the light, the new paradigm. And now asking the creator to help us a little bit, we're gonna ask that we see and feel and know who we really are that will enable us to see us in action with right choice, right movement with the other people who are in their right action and right thought and right choice. And there we build and sustain the new world. Take a breath through your nose and out through your mouth. Simply imagine that over your head is one of those little hourglasses, it's like a figure eight. And you are choosing to very gently with the help of the angelic beings, pull back the middle of that eight, and imagine that there are sands in there that are particles that the creator has blessed and imbued with your highest healing, awakening. And these little particles are now coming down into your body and they are being distributed each particle has a specific vibrational frequency made just for you to go deep into your organs, your body, your tissues, your brain, your nerve synapses to release the old grip of all manifestations of fear-based reality. Take a deep breath and just let these particles come in and unwind and unglue and release all of these false holding mechanisms within your body now. Let go, release. Oh, it feels so safe and so good. So now, a second bath of particles is coming down. And this is filling you with your new, highest vibration of your perfected vibrational field. Simply said, take a breath and just allow this to all come through. Whoa, it's like one of those little pinball machines in every single Gold and silver pinball is finding its winning slot everywhere within your body, the little nodal points, the trigger points for more light and expanding are being ignited and you are safely and calmly settling into a much higher octave frequency field now. You are settling in and holding and breathing into this field. And it is so brilliant 
and so joyful, so full of light. As you are imbibing and allowing this embedding, you're noticing that a curtain into the new paradigm from your Vesica Pisces is now very gently being pulled open. Imagine that you are facing the new world. First, notice how you feel. How does your body feel? Notice as you take your attention to your heart of what you are sensing and feeling now. Then, with all of your will, take a step into this new bubble, fully, your entire being, your entire body. So that the whole of it is absolutely oneness. Feel the, the slight electrical charge going through your body and the beautiful magnetic flow as you are standing in absolute perfected alignment within your being. Take a deep breath and imagine that your body is like a beautiful aligned cross, vertical and horizontal, and settle into that in your heart space. Now imagine in this new paradigm bubble that you're opening your eyes. Imagine that you are seeing everything from your inward sight and notice who is there. Notice what they are doing. Notice the colors. Notice the seamless flow of joyful movement. The seamless flow of joyful movement. Feel that you are a part of this. It is the ebb and flow of communication, doing, receiving. There is no possibility of fatigue, miscommunications. All dissonance is released. The harmony, the joy, the reciprocity, and the peace is present. Feel the stillness simultaneously with the movement. You are only carrying one little part of the whole. All pressure is released. Your beingness is enough. All is moving and flowing beautifully. Again, notice the colors. Notice the feeling of where your feet set on, the, on the, the basic foundation of this new paradigm. Notice if you feel less weight. Notice if it's warm. Notice the air. And just notice without preconceived pictures. For this might even be a new time and space beyond our own Earth. Continuum. Just allow yourself to be in this and to feel it and accept it as is, for this will assist you 
now to move back and forth from the Vesica Pisces, the holding position, into the new paradigm seamlessly in your sleep when working with other people of similar vibration. You have now taken a major move and step out of the fray of the old paradigm. And in fact, you will feel it as a wall of pain, suffering, and dissonance, of which you will reference only from the Vesica Pisces from this moment on. Those that reach through and request your support and to work with them, you will invite them into the, your transitional zone of the Vesica Pisces. It is no longer necessary for you to physically put yourself in and to absorb and be with the old paradigm energetically. Take a deep breath. You are more valuable and in service in the Vesica Pisces being seen and accessible to teach and to work with people who are coming towards you, who see your light, and you very gently have them sit right on the edge of your Vesica Pisces, and you commune and work with them. We no longer are inviting in interference, dissonant, angry, ego-bound people. We are protecting our inner balance, our alignment, and our connection to our own source at all times. Our feathers cannot be fluffed. We are resolved, resolute, and resigned to our higher path with ultimate protection. And now we have experienced and moved into the new paradigm bubble. And guess what? We're going to smell like the new paradigm. We're going to exude an aroma and a feeling and a vibration that people have sought for ages. Feel into that. You are the answer. You hold the key. You are the pipe piper playing a new vibrational song for others to be silent long enough for a moment to hear your vibration. First they hear it. Catch her, it gets their attention. And they look towards you and they see your Vesica Pisces shining. They don't see you worrying about the next phone call or, or in the fray. That's not going to attract them. They see you staying calm and clear and joyful. So you get to decide to be very effective in your everyday life. Imagine that you're in your Vesica Pisces and you're watching and observing people, everything in the old paradigm, but you're not, you're not in it, you're of it, you came from it. And you are playing music and leaning into, you're playing the music of the new paradigm through your head all the time. And when you're not busy, you're gonna go and you're gonna sit over there and be with that tribe and be with those people. So more and more, Guess what? The other souls that are going and stepping in the new paradigm, they're going to spot you across the crowded Safeway, across the crowded convention room, or in the internet search. They're going to say, oh my God, they're in the new paradigm. I feel with this being, I don't have to defend myself. 
this person wouldn't hurt a flea. I feel like I've known this person forever. That person is on your team, your new tribe of co-creation. So I leave you with those thoughts. It is 9.35 and we turn off our meditation experiences. Go ahead and put a beautiful golden resilient bubble around your vesica Pisces. One last deep breath, wiggle your fingers and toes. And um, thank you for joining me today. I am Jan Jorgensen at soundandlighthealingarts.com. I'm getting over a little bit of a cough, so I'm not my usual <laughs> vitality self, but these meditations help me too. So thank you for joining me. Be the light meditation. Thanks. I'm going to stop the recording and we can chat a little bit. Okay.